Um, so welcome guys. Now let's consider mm -hmm. this question that we actually have here. So in this question, it's clearly stated that uh, that we should give all the elements of the permutation of three element sets, and I believe I've explained that. So I want to find the um, if I want to find all the elements of permutation of three elements, these are the results. And how can you easily recall? Or how can you easily get this? So let me just give you a pattern to this. So the best way to get this thing is, so if I decide to take a pen now, and then let's say I'm actually looking for, you know, I'm looking for all the elements of permutation of three sets, the three element sets. So I'll start by introducing, okay, our P3, that is our S3, our symmetric group for S3 is, so I'll start with, the first one is the identity element i, or you denote it as root e. So you now you want to can use all this plus two and try it to be equals to one. So here in this case, the first element we have is the identity element, and then the second one is just open a bracket. The third one, you know, if you have three element sets, take note all the number of elements you have is three factorial, and that is six. You are expected to have six elements for three for permutations of three element sets so i have one two three then this is the fourth one the fifth one and then the sixth one so then that's all so how you fill this up is very very easy so i ask you to put one here at this position put two here and then put three here now since you already have one in this case the next digit is meant to be what two and at the same time if you have two here the next digit is what three if you have three here the next digit is what Four. But four is not part of the three elements we are talking about. The three elements are just one, two, three. Okay? So in this cycle, we have one goes to two, two goes to three, and three go back to one. That's counterclockwise. So I can write four. That means three go back to what? To one in this case. And at the same time, the next thing I have to do is to pick up one, two. Take notes. Pick up one, two. Then this one, you pick up one, three. Do you understand that? So if you have one two in this case, the next digit is meant to be what three. If you have one three in this case, the last digit you are expected to have is what is two in that order. Start following now. So if you have this now, you know this three one that you have here is still the same thing as one three. So take note if you are trying to do it in another form. Now since we already know what the elements are, so it is clearly seen here that the element. So it is clearly seen here that um, the element for all the element for um, the of the permutation of three sets is what you actually see here. The identity element, the one, two, that is write one first, two, then three, fill it up, two, three, and one. So then write out one, one two, three, write out one, two, write out your <coughs> one, three, then you fill it to the last letter that is missing. So now, since we believe that we already have this, so how will you go about the curly table? You have to draw a curly table of this group that you have. Now, to make it more easy for you to do, because you have to find the product. When you are dealing with curly table, you have to find the product of all these um groups of this element that you have. So if you want to find the product, now I'm, I'm expected to write. I'm supposed to write um identity element here, then one two here, then two three, followed by three one, then followed by one two three, and then followed by one three two. Then the same thing, write it on the rows and on the colon. So you go ahead and multiply them, F1 times F1. So instead of going through, instead of writing out 1, 2, 2, 3, you know, before you know it, it gets confusing, and before you find the product, because you have to multiply this and this, this and this, and then this and this. So to instead of going through that stress, I want to give you a shortcut to it. There's a shortcut you can use. Just, you know, you remember what we call a uh, Sudoku game now? You remember that game? So I can just decide to apply it here, and it, it, it works, it works. So I decided to label, I decided to label this identity as F1. Let this one to represent F2, F3, this represent F4, F5, and F6. So that is what I have here and in this case too. So in the next video, I'll try to explain how this is being derived. All this. Okay, I'll explain how this thing is being derived. It's just like saying it will just be as if you're actually playing this local game. So I'll explain it better. Okay. So in the next video, I'll, I'm going to do that. I'll have the next page in this case so this is just the pattern i'm going to use so instead of using f1 i'm going to use 123 okay